Yeah, table salt for pyogenic granuloma. I'll tell you what to do if this doesn't work and we'll look through other ways where you can remove these pesky little lesions that keep on bleeding. First, apply Vaseline to the surrounding skin to prevent irritation. Then, apply standard table salt to the entire pyogenic granulova and cover it with a plaster or surgical tape or cling film. Keep the dressing dry and repeat the process until the pyogenic granuloma resolves. However, if the lesion hasn't gone or almost totally gone within two weeks, you need to contact your family doctor straight away as they would need to refer you to a specialist to urgently review the diagnosis and provide alternative treatments. A pyogenic granuloma is a benign overgrowth of tiny blood vessels on the skin. It's classified as a type of hemangioma. Typically, they're bright red and may darken over time. Their surface is shiny and moist, but it become crusty after bleeding. It grows over weeks to months and usually stops at about one centimeter in size. They often bleed and ooze, but generally are not painful. I had a young 16 month old patient in recently who had a terrible time with the pyogenic granuloma near his eye. It bled a lot as he kept on picking at it and no dressing would stay on it. I'll share later how I treated this in my clinic. In addition to being unsightly, they can be a real nuisance. On the fingers, they can make daily functioning difficult. They can have a pus-like material around them and usually protrude from the skin. They usually aren't painful or itchy, but they can bleed easily, especially when they are knocked. Most are diagnosed by their appearance and the history. The good old dermatoscope can be helpful in the diagnosis. If there's any uncertainty, a doctor may remove it after numbing the skin with local anesthetic and send it to the laboratory for for testing to rule out skin cancers like SCC and melanoma. It's not cancerous, not contagious, or it's not caused by an infection. However, if you notice a rapidly growing lesion, it's essential to consult your healthcare provider to rule out a skin cancer like an SCC skin cancer, which can grow rapidly over a few weeks, or a nodular melanoma, which can grow quickly, bleed, and resemble a pyogenic granuloma. Most pyogenic granuloma appear spontaneously on their own, but some develop after a minor skin injury. They commonly appear in areas with a good blood flow, like the fingers and the toes, the face, scalp, and around the mouth and lips. They can occur at any age, but are most common in children, young adults, and during pregnancy. While some may naturally shrink and fade over time, most do need treatment. Freezing with liquid nitrogen or scraping off under local anesthetic, followed by cauterization is a common form of treatment. Creams containing the beta blocker, timolol, or topical corticosteroids can help, especially in children, to avoid surgery. The British Association of Dermatologists suggests some other alternative treatments, including steroid injections, imiquimod, also known as Andara, which we use to treat sun damage and skin cancers, silver nitrate, and lasers, although these are less common forms of treatment. And I must admit, I haven't needed to use these for any of my patients. Now, how about our young 16-month-old with the bleeding pyogenic granuloma. Well, I considered cryotherapy followed by corticosteroid creams, but he had lost a lot of blood over the past couple of weeks due to the continuous bleeding, and his parents were keen for a rapid resolution. Thankfully, we were able to numb his skin, scrape off the pyogenic granuloma with a curette, and cauterize the base of the lesion to stop any further bleeding. Dad did an excellent job holding him while my nursing assistant protected his eyes. The parents were relieved and thankfully the young man wasn't too stressed by the ordeal. In fact, he stopped crying just after I took this photo. Many thanks to mum and dad who allowed me to share these images and the story with you. The little cauterized area heals with a scab similar to a cut and may leave a small mark, but given his young age, it will likely heal fully. If you think you might have a pyogenic granuloma, it's important to get it assessed by your healthcare professional.